one along with Sam, a.k.a. Balleric, back when he used to be known as that before YouTube changed things. Anyway, we're going to do a uh, hotel tour of uh, Crack House, I mean uh, Hotel 6, or Motel 6, or Motel Sex. <laughs> anyway, just to be fair to this place, back when this used to be the Seuss Chalet, until Motel 6 bought it, this place was kind of known to the cops even then, so let's be fair to Motel 6 that they've inherited problems. And one thing I would not, if you really are worried about drugs and prostitution, you definitely want to skip this place. If you're one who is uh, keen-minded and by yourself and not with a family and on a budget, you probably can get away with it. Anyway, this, pl this is, place has two buildings. The original, well actually that might not be the original, but this one here. It's got the big welcome sign. We're trying not to get other people in the shop. Just to be safe. Alright. That's the se second building. Yeah, there, as you can see, there's handicapped spots. However, I do not think there are elevators in this building, so if you're handicapped, you are relegated to the bottom level. All right, over here we got our standard, uh, well, they combined everything here. We got your beverage machines here. La laundry right here, washers and dryers here. Standard washers and dryers there, washers and dryers, and then the stand-up one. And uh, by the way, I've used this particular model of Disney World. They look pathetic, but they do a very good job, actually. And the ice machine, that does not work, but I can... Oh, we got another one right here, anyway. And that is weird. I'm probably calling the cops. Because, this, like I said, this place is known for activity that's not legal. And this small room right here, which we're trying not to get too much of a uh, view of, is the reception area. The desk is right there. We're not. I'm not going to try and get a good view of the desk. So, we have parking fairly ample right here. Here's the old Seuss Chalet sign that used to be fairly well lit. It's right on the property of the Mall of Whitney Field. In fact, there's the Macy's, Sears Auto, and your restaurants, the McDonald's, Burger King, Papa Gino's, which is a Boston slash New England uh, pizza joint. Donald's. So it's a very basic parking lot, and just to verify whether or not there are elevators or not in this building, we're just going to check this stairwell as well. In fact, the next thing we're going to do is check the amenities in the back. Because if the video that I saw of this place is correct, that's where they are. And I will have to point out the video of this place was grossly outdated. So in a sense, we're updating that video. This, actually, it would be their problem. And, and this is the same. There's your stairwells. It's the same. you got electrical room or anything of some sort over there. The mystery door over here. Yes, it was. I think we've just passed one of our examples of the people you don't really want to meet. There are homeless families that live here too, if I remember correctly. Now, because it is pretty much November, homeless clothes. And. Does the poll work when it's open? 
I wouldn't know. If, I think it does, because they had... Uh, yeah, it's basic pool. Not much more you really need. So, again, it's pretty much proved. This is the other stairwell for this building. No elevators. And we're going to go and check out this room. Alright, before we actually do, did you stop the... Oh, you didn't stop.